The final chapter of the 2015-16 Division III hockey season is yet to be written, but the authors of this tale are on the ice tonight. It's the Babson College Beavers taking on the UMass Boston Beacons in the first of a back-to-back -back between two hated rivals. That's up next, right here on the Beacons Broadcasting Network. We're all set for the opening face-off here from the campus of UMass Boston. Colin Larkin wins the face-off. He's our player to watch, brought to you by Thompson Brother Industries. More on that in a bit. As UMass Boston takes on Babson, we're glad to have you with Alice Franklin, the top line in the starters for this visiting Babson team, right into a great scoring opportunity is Michael Phillips denied by Faust. That's a huge save by Faust. Brett Mason off the faceoff win by the Beacons. His shot is blocked down in front. Right out in front from Santa Fe to Miller. In front for Miller. And his second chance opportunity is denied by Murray. Tommy Municiello with possession. The freshman from Weymouth has seven points in 14 games. What a last name, Municiello. That's almost as good as Meisenbacher. It's a difficult one to say. Meisenbacher rolls off the tongue. It's, it's fun to say. That's why I say it so much. As this one's Bishop. His shot and a gloved out of thin air by Jamie Murray. And he flashes that. That leather on that Larkin, one on four right now on the ice. He gets a little bit of reinforcements. Is coming in are both Miller and Santa Pass, and Miller levels the boom on Josh Casper, and he'll pay the price as he will head to the penalty box with 8.45 to go. Oh, that looked bad, John, and unfortunately... One here by UMass Boston. They're trying to get it out of the zone. A rising clearing attempt ends up doinking McGrath in the face and keeps it in the zone. And now this one's sent back to the point. Chance for a rising shot. Save by Faust. Rebound and score. Bad rebound controlled from Billy Faust. Allows a second chance opportunity in front. And the goal, I believe, will be credited to Tommy Cunicciello. I have no idea what happened to Faust there. Chakrin siphons this one forward into neutral ice. Motoring in now is Brazel. He's all alone. Backhand feed. Great save by Faust. Moving laterally to gobble it up with the bread basket. The Augustine along with Larkin and Lemire. The Augustine fighting for it. Larkin in front. And a quick snapshot from the near side dot from Lemire is gobbled up by Murray. Great play. I'll take that. Out. In fact, is Bishop. He gets possession. Larkin's on the far side on the point. He takes possession. Bishop gets it from Larkin. Bishop down low for D'Augustine. Frankie Wade back to the top of the top, but Murray's lateral quickness is enough to save the blast from Ackerman. He's fully capable. Ackerman is as well, and that one is rising and high. Blocked down in front. Ackerman sends it far side for Seligman. Takes the shove from Gallagher. Stays on his feet for Ackerman. Ackerman wide open in front. Off the post, and they score! Tommy Municiello. He came into this one with four in 14 games. right here on the Beacons broadcasting yes, Bowman. Bowman out there along with Depietto. Instead he tries to go forward towards the blue line and the lumber is laid by Brett Mason and still down is the forward I believe can't see who that is yeah, we now. Can't, we can't see the numbers. This doesn't look good. He's down. They're going to send the training staff out. We queue it up in just a moment here on the Beacons broadcasting network. Matt, hockey's a contact sport. That was We'll take a look at the instant replay to see whether or not it was fully legal. I don't. It wasn't interference. He had control of the puck. He had the puck, and, and here's the replay. And for those watching out the replay, Devaney is up and it's skating. It was an opportunity for Bishop motoring in. He was a NEHC Player of the Week earlier on, as he will get an opportunity to serve it right on front. Bishop is watching what they should do. Lemire drops it down for Santa Pass. Santa Pass using that big body. Center in front, they go! Wilmot Boston has tied the game, and it looks like Matt Lemire with Frankie the Augustine. Who else? That guy's been hotter than the sun here in 2016. Number 22 and wide is number one in your hearts. He ties it up. This is a wild. 22 makes it 2-2. Love it. Frankie the Augustine, you know, a nice block shot in the slot. There's a blast from Gallagher, and that one had some mustard on it, but gobbled up by the butterfly. Possession by Murray with 15.55 to go. Nice shot from Gallagher. Got off an opportunity like that. It looks like Colucci jockeying for possession with Tim Searles, and Tim's going to get tossed, so a break for the Beacons, perhaps. Colucci initially won the faceoff and got it poked away, and now the Beacons have to regroup back. Chance, chance, score! Chesapeake, Virginia native, makes it 3-2 Beavers. Yes, 
to Michael Vail, but it just trickled wide. And now, with the Vegans getting it out, Billy Faust will head to the bench if they can. Here is Lemire. Faust heads to the bench. Extra tackle on as Matt Lemire's howitzer cannon sails high and wide. At the end, sideboards, Larkin can't keep it in with 30 seconds to go. Last chance for Romance. 30 seconds left for the Vegans. Tipped in by Chuckman as he's able to get it to Lemire. Matt, cross ice feed in front. No one home. Here's the Augustine from the point blast. Gobbled up by Murray. And the late swap from Larkin with 17 seconds to go. It too as it clanked off the ref's skate. Lemire trying to get it towards Frankie. Just five seconds to go. The Augustine third in front. Chance for Romance. Over. Oh, and Bishop lifts on it. And he sends it high and wide. of Babson College in an absolute manic and exciting affair by the final score of 3-2. to two. Matt Meisenbacher, all I can say is wow.